Hello everyone, Spectre here, back in with Marvel Content of Champion video, and today we just got some important news, and yes, the, the thumbnail did not lie, um, we are finally able to get, or, well, we know how to get, um, a 7 star version of Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, and Massacre, so yeah, those, those, like, came into the game a little bit ago, speculation was gonna, they were gonna be the Titan Crystal, but then it was like, oh, actually, we're getting Cersei's Red Skull thing in the Titan Crystal, so it was like, how do we get these champions then? And yeah, it's a little content creator creative challenges, which, which I think is so cool. And uh, the challenges were created by probably Mike, Fintech, and Legacy. Three big Marvel content champion YouTubers that you may know. Uh, they're gonna their links to their channels are gonna be in the description in case you wanna go subscribe to them or check them out or whatnot if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, I just want to go over this real quick because this is super, super cool and and stuff like that. So yeah, essentially each each of the creators created two of the two ultra difficult challenges designed to test your skills, and they say it's going to be really, really hard. Uh, they said the uh, hardest yet, yeah, yeah, right here, the hardest yet. So I um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, we got Winter of Woe going on, and then we have uh, the Spring of something, and basically we have the Winter of Woe all year. Plus, I want to do Necropolis. Plus, I want to save up for Fourth of July. Uh, just seems like there's a lot going on, but I mean, I, I'm looking forward to. It. I would love a seven-star version of one of these three, which I'll go on to which one I'm going to pick at the at the end of the video, but. Oh, it just seems like we're getting another thing to get tacked on to our to-do list in game. So yeah, we got we got a lot now, and also it's coming out on February fifteenth. So not tomorrow, but tomorrow's tomorrow. So two days as of recording this. And uh, yeah, uh, where does it say the reward? Okay, so they say they tease a bit of juicy rewards. You get some six-star champion selectors. They say special six-star champion selectors. I don't know exactly who's going to be in those selectors. Maybe it's these guys, but I don't know. I feel like having the six-star champion selectors and then immediately going to the seven-star versions. It's like, mm, I don't know if that would be too too useful, especially for Karina's challenges. So maybe it's gonna be something something different I, I i hope i get to choose gallon i would like to choose gallon i still don't have a gallon and i want a i don't even have a five star and i just want him to run in incursions i need a gallon but yes i'm really i'm really intrigued and i really hope these are really good and also it says seven star shards and custom emotes designed in collaboration with the creators so that that'd be cool i'm, I'm expecting like a stark spidey emote a uh, Baron's emo emo and a tiger emo <laughs> and then yeah special seven star champion selector and then you could choose Spider-Man 2099 S Stark Enhanced Spider-Man or Massacre and yeah that's all it says now Legacy made a video and I watched that video and that's actually how I f found out about this because I don't actively look on the forums and he said that there's one other reward here that they didn't reveal yet that he's really excited for so that makes me think okay are they gonna have more rewards than they listed here or did they just leave out the one mega reward that we don't know about yet because something I, I do see that's lacking here is catalyst because it says oh yeah you get all these champions and shards and stuff like that and the cool emotes and stuff like that it's like yeah, that's nice and all, but we kind of need Catalyst to rank them up, and something really lacking in the current uh, economy of the game, at least from where I'm at, is a severe lack of Tier 6 class Catalyst. There's, there doesn't seem like a, a way to get a lot of them. Like, the, the most frequent way I'm able to get it is from the Battleground store, and I get the little 5% selectors, 5 a week. And I always pick them up because I, I am trying to get as many uh, of my six stars to rank five as possible. But I'm really hoping that there's also a lot of tier six basics and tier six CC and tier three alphas in these rewards as well. There's pro probably also going to be a bit of tier four alpha, which I'm not really after. You know, tier th uh, rank rank three seven stars are not really my priority. 
I, I'm not really close to any of them. I, I'm barely, I barely have any seven stars I rank two right now. So that's why I really want to see tier six CCs. But yeah, as long as there's like catalyst, I, these rewards sound pretty cool. I mean, we don't, obviously we don't know the numbers of the seven star shards, but I'm, they're probably going to get a big chunk of seven star shards. Like there's, there's six quests, maybe like each, each quest grants like half a seven star and you do all three and, or all six and you get three seven stars or even like getting two seven stars and your selector. That'd be really cool. I just hope it's a nice chunk to at least open two. So then you, you get like a cool double seven star or I could get a cool double seven star opening, which would just be cool. But yeah, I just hope it's a nice decent chunk and it's a Korean challenges. So, you know, it's not going to be like, oh, 1000 here, 750 there. I, I do think it's going to be a couple thousand, like 5,000 maybe around there. But yeah, this looks really cool. Also, I, I've just scanned here, forgot to mention this. The, there's also going to be an objective where you can get your next King Groot Deathless piece. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, that just gives the links to the creators, which I will be doing. Um, or again, their, their links will be in the description. And uh, yeah, one last thing I want to yak about is, let's just talk about the, these cool seven stars, because that's the main prize of this little content creator. Karina's challenges, more like the content creators challenges instead of Karina. Um, but yeah, Spider-Man 2099, Stark and Spider-Man Massacre, or Massacre, I think he's he's actually called. But oh man, I love all three of those champions. Like, believe it or not, I know some people are like, oh, Massacre's not even a question for you. You're like, oh, Ma Massacre's not even the question. It's really between these two. No, nah, I love Massacre. I think he's a really fun champion. I think he's really, really good. If, like, again, if the opponent can be incinerated, Massacre is going to be awesome. Like, I, I, I just love Massacre. I just pulled the six star not too long ago. I would, like, he would be at least rank three by now if I wasn't saving my resources for potential Winter of Woe rank ups. And uh, so stuff like that, it's like, it's really preventing me from ranking up a lot of champions I want to rank up. And I just took up She-Hulk to rank three, whereas she was like unleveled rank one. But yeah, so yeah, getting in just a seven star masker, it's like, I don't have to use any resources on the six star. I could already have a masker. Basically, it's like he's at rank five. The same thing with Stark and Hit Spider-Man 2099. I don't even have a six star 2099, whereas I have a rank three six star Stark Spider Man. So it's like, maybe I should choose Spider Man 2099 or Massacre, because, you know, I don't have them highly ranked. But at the same time, it's like, I love Stark Spider Man. He, I, I think out of all these three, he's my favorite. But he's the one I have a decently, uh, you know, high rank, at least for my account. Like, rank threes are, are right now, like, the, the, the realm of champions where I'm just trying to get at least as many champions ranked three as possible. And then slowly, you know, trying to get more rank fours. I have a nice rank four roster. But, oh, it's just so tough because it's like, seven star Stark Spider-Man would be awesome, but I, I have him at a, a rank I'm, I'm happy with right now. So, <laughs> I don't know, this is gonna be really tough for me. I'm probably gonna just choose Stark Spider-Man. But man, I would love 299 or, Ma or Masakre. Uh, they're, they're, they'd just be so good. I feel like the numbers on Spider-Man 299 would be amazing. The numbers on Masakre would be amazing. Stark Spider-Man is going to hit like a fucking jet. Like he's going to hit like... Oh my god, he's going to hit so hard. Like those big crits are going to be insane. Also, one other thing I should probably mention is... Masakre pr probably is the only one who doesn't have a uh like a nice uh awakened ability he's fine unawakened whereas the other two i I've, i don't know too much about spider 299 but i know like he, he has a nice sig ability that you want to get to sick 200 same thing with dark spider-man it it really just helps his damage but i think out of the gate all three of these are good unawakened as well mm, i might i might choose dark spider-man let me know who you guys are going to choose and yeah i've been yapping <laughs> For a bit, this was supposed to be a quick video, but I, I am I am quite the yapper, so uh, yeah. Before I yap any further, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, have fun making this really tough decision, or maybe it's not a tough decision. Goodbye.